it's official, I quit. You see, I wasn't happy at L'Oreal. I felt like I was living the life of someone else, the life of my father. L'Oreal gave me all the safety and benefits someone can ask for. Six weeks holidays, work from home, great canteen, health benefit, you name it. I was also able to buy me you a new car. But still, there was a big problem, like why? Why do I feel overstressed? Why do I need hypnose to fall asleep at night? Why do I feel this constant pain in my chest from Monday to Friday until it fades out on Saturday night? Why is the pressure of my job crushing my soul? Should I carry on for the rest of my career to finally enjoy life at retirement like my family is saying? And I just feel guilty, guilty to be in such an unhappy place when our society tells us that graduating from one of the best business school in France and working for the number one dream French company should be the path everybody dreams of. This video is actually the only way for me to express myself and explain why I quit my job for golf. Because right now, around me, my friends and family, I feel they don't really understand my decision. And I hope my experience can help you if you don't feel at the right place right now in your job. You see, back when I was 17 years old, I was a happy man. I was golfing Wednesday, Saturday and Sunday, and it felt great. At that time, my golf teacher was the most important person in my life. And trying to get better at golf with him as a mentor taught me the most valuable lesson in life. Perseverance, dedication, hard work. All this with passion first because I simply love the game of golf. Suddenly I had to make the most important choice of my life. Decide what I want to do after high school. And it just came down to two choices. One, pursue my passion to become a golf teacher or study in order to do what my father or society tells us we're supposed to do. I remember when I told one of my friends that I simply want to golf all the time, he gave me one of the worst possible advice someone can give you. He told me, be careful to not be a golf nerd. Because nerds are not accepted in our society. When I told my father I wanted to be a golf teacher, he told me, you will go to college, my son. Because this is what is seen as success in our family. We study hard to go to great school, and then you work for a big corporation. So instead of listening to myself, I listened to my father and my friend. So I got an engineer diploma because my father was an engineer and because I felt I needed to meet the family standard even more. I did a master's degree in one of the best business schools in France. And because L'Oreal is the number one French dream company, I worked for them. I know that my dad wanted what he thought was the best for me, but now I wish I had the courage to stand up for my dream because 10 years later, It feels like I lived the dream of someone else and I feel depressed. And this is the biggest lesson I learned in the past years. If you don't stand up for your dreams, you will burn out. Then I had this aha moment. I remember it vividly. It was 8.34 at night and I was sending emails for my job. And I just asked myself, why? Why do I do this? Then I went on the internet and saw a picture of a guy 50 years old, in suit, gray hair. And I realized that if I'm where he is at 50 years old, I will not have lived my whole professional career by the values I care about. Because if I look back at my experience, there was two moments I felt really happy. When I lived by athletic values playing golf in high school, and when I lived by creative values creating campaigns every day for a startup. On that night, I actually realized that my dad wanted to be a lawyer when he was a kid but his parents didn't want to because they were discouraged with the profession. It's only when he retired that he could finally do what he always dreamed of, help his entrepreneur friends with the legal side of things. He died from a heart attack five years after retirement. I looked at my wife and the daughter she had in her and I realized I can't tell my daughter to follow her dreams if I don't realize mine. I just can't leave my whole professional career trying to live the life my dad wanted me to live. So I decided to quit because I found my why. I want to inspire golfers throughout the world to get better at the game of golf. And I'm going to live by my values. I'm going to challenge myself to become scratch before December 2022 with one episode per week on YouTube. While I'm doing this, I'm also going to launch a golf training app because I simply want to help golfers throughout the world get better at this game. The thing is that quitting is not as fancy as it sounds. First, I had a panic attack when I had to sign the paper to officially say that I'm going to quit my job. But I accepted to be a misfit of this society because I listen to my little voice inside. It takes a lot of balls to try to live from your passion and to try to launch your, your dream project with a baby on board. What's funny is that the guy who escorted me out of the building asked me about my project and uh, he told me one day I'm gonna do it. And that's funny because 
I used to be that guy to always say one day I'm gonna do it like in two years I'm gonna do it finding excuses to not do it there's a big difference in saying I'm gonna do it in two years and actually doing it I'm taking action it's scary but it feels really great and when you start to follow your dream people will be really vocal on why you can't do it it's not the right time it's never the right time my dad didn't die at the right time either it's not a real job i am just going to work as much but on something i truly care you don't have enough subscribers but it's not about the number of subscribers it's about challenging yourself and documenting it to share it with a small or big audience but i actually realized they don't tell you you can't do it they tell you that they can do it because there's many chance that the people around you gave up on their dreams. I also found many excuses before I wanted to start. No editing skills, no camera, blah blah blah. But I actually realized that I didn't start because I was afraid to fail. And we are really scared of failure. But I'd rather fail at something I love than something I hate. I realized that working for your own dream you get lonely but i will find a way to work with it no excuses this time it's okay to be a nerd it's okay to do a sport that people think only old people play it's a lot of pressure to have everybody know your objective but this time it's not gonna crush me it's gonna fuel me because i'm gonna do something i love and i'm gonna live by my value so here are my questions for you what is your dream and what are the values you want to live by Should I follow my dream? Yeah! <laughs>